The temporary ban imposed on Facebook was lifted this afternoon by the Telecommunication Regulatory Commission of Sri Lanka on the orders of President Maithripala Sirisena. Issuing a statement, the President's media division said the government extend its uh, regrets over the inconvenience caused to the public due to this uh, temporary restriction to access social media tools. On Wednesday last week, the government took a decision to ban social media platforms including Facebook, WhatsApp and Viber in the wake of the unrest which broke out in Kandy. The restriction to access Facebook was relaxed following talks with its representatives today, a day after the ban on Viber and WhatsApp were removed. Bhairav Acharya, Facebook's public policy manager for India and South Asia, and Shivnath Tukral, the public policy director, met with Secretary to the President Austin Fernando this morning at the Presidential Secretariat. Following the conclusion of the talks, President Maitri Pala Sirisena announced on his official Twitter account that on his instructions, his secretary Austin Fernando had discussions with Facebook officials. They have agreed that its platform will not be used for spreading hate speech and inciting violence. Issuing a communique, the president's media division said Facebook conveyed to the secretary that it does not tolerate hate speech on its platform and shared its deep commitment to remove hate speech connected to race, ethnicity, national origin and religious affiliation in the context of the immediate emergency situation in Sri Lanka. Therefore, the representatives of Facebook said it would immediately respond to the details provided by the government, civil society and criminal investigation institutions. The communique went on to note anyone propagating hate speech on Facebook is liable under Sri Lankan law and prompt action will be taken according to Facebook's community standards. It goes on to say both sides agreed to conduct a progress review on the matter within the proper time frame and to implement more efficient and productive measures in the future with a proper plan. The President's media division said the decision to restrict access to some social media platforms temporarily paved the way to curtail the attempts to spread communal violence across the country, misusing social media in a manner detrimental to national harmony.